For more insight onto this, let me bring in my guest, Ms. Ho Wenping from the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences. Good to have you with us. Okay. It's been 15 years since the 9-11 attacks, and it seems that Europe has been a new center for terrorism in parts of Asia, too. How did terrorism spread globally so quickly? Yes, uh, time flies. So uh, even though 15 years has passed and this anti-terror uh, campaign uh, has been undertaken for 15 years as well, but unfortunately we haven't seen like uh, terrorism has been distinguished or we feel safer than before. Actually, we feel insecure even uh, comparing with uh, 15 years ago. Uh, now we, we even feel afraid to travel like to even to the European continent. So the reason for this uh, uh, more anti-terror and then more terror, I think, is simply because uh, uh, there are many reasons. I cannot uh, figure them one by one, but many one, I think one is that is because this uh, terror issue it's uh, some uh, negative side of this uh, globalization. I would say that even though globalization is a good thing, we benefited from this globalization, but the negative side, just like a, a same coin, the two sides of the same coin. So the negative side is we see the increasing gap between the poor and the rich, and also uh, lots of people has been marginalized, even in those rich countries. And this kind of thing has been doubled by this uh, global economic slowdown ever since the 2008. So this, uh, a lot of people now, they felt uh, they have been, in, uh, you know, uh, poverty than before. So that's easier for, their, for those so-called brainwash by those extremists, those extremists or religionists, and also jihadists or some uh, separatists. So they have been brainwashed in an easy way uh, than before. This is one thing. Another is uh, those terror, uh, I think, terrorist group, those centers now becoming multi-centered rather than single-centered. Before, it's just centered. Uh, we know that in Middle East countries, quite a lot of are caused by Afghanistan war, Iraqi war, and even by the conflict between Palestinian and Israel. But now, it come uh, multi-centered, even in Africa. They, those terrorism can combination with those uh, local, those anti-government forces, those uh, sentiment forces, anti -sent so this kind of uh, globalization, I should say, quote unquote, uh, those uh, terrorist globalization, and then they got beneficial from social media's help. Like uh, they, they also use the Google, uh, uh, they use those uh, internet even in a more uh, mature the way, so they can easily, uh, you know, uh, get those supporters uh, to join. They even travel from Europe, from uh, America to join those jihadists. So all of those reasons, so give us a very unfortunate picture. That is. Uh, now 15 years, maybe another 15 years, we will continue to fight with this terrorist issue. In the fight against mm -hmm. terrorism globally, what would you say to critics that are saying that the United States is politicizing the fight against terrorism in Syria, in Libya, in Iraq, and in Yemen? What do you see as the biggest challenges in anti-terrorism war? Yes, uh, you know, United States, they have uh, undertaken two wars shortly after 9-11. One is the Afghanistan war, another is Iraqi war. But uh, uh, very sadly is those two wars, even though it's in the name of anti-terror, like Al-Qaeda, they want to kill the uh, bin Laden. Uh, even though bin Laden has been killed, now we see the Islamic State, so-called Islamic State. They even want to occupy a land to declare now they are becoming a state, rather than like uh, uh, Al-Qaeda hiding in those mountainous areas. So which means the terrorist activity now has been escalated uh, than before. But in the name of anti-terror, but in the reality, uh, we haven't seen those two wars has ended in a good way. They have uh, destroyed those uh, uh, local authority, like uh, either either the uh, Saddam Hussein or like Taliban in Afghanistan. But we have seen very clearly after those two wars, and then those, uh, we see the rebirth of those new kinds of uh, terrorist group. That is Al Qaeda. That is the Islamic State. They all coming out from these ashes of that two war. So, which means you destroy it in a easy way, but you fail to rebuild another very good new authority. Uh, no matter it's the democratic one or new authoritative one, but you mm -hmm. failed to build. This is one thing. Another thing is two. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have time. Yes, double standard go. policy. Thank you. Okay. I gotta go. But thank mm -hmm. you for your insight, Ms. Ho. Mm -hmm.